Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's a bit of a different video today, but the other day I got a HP Sprocket. Um, this is the HP Sprocket Plus, actually. Um, so I thought I would unbox it today. I've never done one of these videos before, but I was about to open it just then, and I thought, oh, why not do it on camera? So I'm not sure how exciting this video is going to be, but I'm going to open it and then, you know, give you a first reaction of it me opening it so that's kind of what's going down in this video so i'm um, just gonna open <laughs> i don't know i don't know if this video is going to be interesting at all but um yeah it's basically just me opening a box but that's that's fine so this is what the box looks like i also got um some oh should I say what it is yeah I'll say what it is um so what <laughs> if you don't know what it is basically it looks kind of like oh that's a side view of it it's basically a little thing that prints photos straight from your phone so I'm pretty sure the way it works is you download an app onto your phone and then that app like connects to your camera roll and you can pick a photo from your camera roll and pr press print on here and then it just prints out of here um, and that is why I need some of this, which is the uh, paper that it prints the photos out on. And it says zinc on the paper, and that's standing for zero ink. So I don't know what it does, but it doesn't use any ink to print the photos, basically. So, um, let us open the box. Go in. Oh, maybe I should take a thumbnail first. Mm, yeah, okay. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I'm actually going to open it now. For the moment of... Um, I don't know if I should try and peel this sticker off or if I should just cut it. Okay, the box is opening. The box is being unboxed. Ah! Ooh. Large. That is such a lie. Mm. That is definitely bigger than the other one. Hmm. Oh, this is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Um. No. Okay. So we have this, which is the sprocket, and then we have this which is a little information pack and then we have this it comes with 10 sheets of printer paper and also the like photo printer paper things um they're like they've got a sticky back so you can peel it off and stick it on something if you want or you can just have it as a little mini photo um instructions more instructions more instructions and a little cord with this thing on. I always think these things are just such a waste of plastic. Um, packaging in general is a waste of plastic. Um, so I presume this cord is to charge the printer. Um, the printer's also wrapped in plastic, funnily enough. Um, it's got a little thing in here. Um, and I think this would go in here and this would go into a charger thing and that's how you'd charge it because the actual printer connects to your phone via Bluetooth so it's like cordless so you don't need to connect it to your phone to print. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to do. Should I try and print a photo? Oh, I need to download the app though. Wait, where's the instructions? Well, maybe I need to download the app. I'm, I'm going to download the app. The app doesn't come up on the app store. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes it does. Yes it does. Okay, so um, that is the app, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to download that. It's downloaded, finally. <laughs> My phone is so slow. Oh. My sprocket set up my printer to charge, connect the USB cord. Oh no, I might have to charge it. Ah uh, no, let me just take... If you think of how many sprockets they've packaged and think that every single sprocket is covered in this plastic, 
it's like it is such a waste why why it was so well protected in there it did not need to be covered in plastic okay i'm just bringing my chargey thing out here load paper oh load paper ah! okay i'm loading the paper into the sprocket or do you oh maybe you only load one at a time do you no surely not Revelation, I've just Googled it on YouTube and apparently you have to like um, slide the top, wait, slide the top cover until it clicks. And I feel like I'm going to break it. <gasps> oh, I did it. Load the paper. Oh, and then you put the paper in there. Okay, so now the paper is like in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my camera roll and find a photo. Oh, okay, I'll print this one of me and my friends at the beach. Okay. Oh, I feel like you need to be closer to the action. Wait, where can you go? Okay, okay. So we have on here the photo that's gonna print um, one copy. I think you just have to press, wait, I'll hold it up. Okay, I'm going to press print and just see what happens. It's flashing. Can you see? Oh, it stopped flashing. It said it was... Oh! It's going! It's going! It's going! It's making a sound. But it sounds not good. Oh, something's coming out. Oh, I don't know if that's what's meant to come out. I don't think that's what's meant to come out. Oh no. That's, why is that coming out? That is, what? Oh, oh, it's going again. It's got, maybe it's going to print the photo now. Oh my gosh, it's printing the photo! Oh, look! I'm going to hold it straight so it doesn't die. Oh, stay. Oh, that's so cute! Oh! like surprisingly good quality like wow i'm impressed that's so cute oh my gosh and then it's got like a little sticky back thing that you can peel off and then stick on something or you can just have it have it like this um oh wow that is really cute i like that oh wow well there you go um that's a bit cute Okay, so that's basically what it does. Let me just, I'll just give you a kind of size comparison. Wait, get out, get out. How do you turn it off? Okay, so I'm going to give you a little size comparison. So this is obviously the Sprocket Plus. So the Sprocket will be smaller, slightly smaller. It's not that much smaller. It prints slightly... <gasps> Um, I think the Sprocket Plus compared to the Sprocket is just slightly bigger and prints slightly bigger photos. So, yeah, um, but this is my iPhone 6 Plus and this is the Sprocket Plus. So you can see it's roughly the same size as an iPhone and in terms of weight, it's roughly the same. No, it's actually a bit lighter than my phone. It's quite light, um... Uh, very portable, about the same size as your phone, obviously. And yeah, it was quite quick to print that photo. The app really, really quickly connected to my camera roll and I just went through and selected the photo I wanted. I just tapped on the photo and then pressed the print button and then it just came out like that. And 
um, yeah, you've got a cute little photo printed. So I guess it's a it's a similar size photo to a Polaroid, basically. Um, but yeah, the good thing is obviously that with a Polaroid, you just have to take one photo there and there and then print it, and it just prints it regardless of what the photo looks like. Um, I don't have a Polaroid, but my sister does. The sprocket is good because you can actually go through and pick which photos you want to print and I don't know, I don't really have too much experience with a Polaroid camera, but um, it's probably a bit better quality than that, I would say. And it doesn't have a white border, but I'm pretty sure on the app you can go and add a border or you can add stickers and you can add text and you can add, like, whatever you want onto the photo, I'm pretty sure. So that's always an option as well. And what I really, really like is that they've got a sticky back, so you can stick them onto your laptop, stick them onto whatever you want to stick them onto, um, but you don't have to. So I think that's really cool. I'm impressed with that. I like that it's portable, I like that it's quick, and I like that it's Bluetooth, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in this video, but I just thought it would be kind of cool to unbox that on camera, because why not? Gives me an extra video to put up and hopefully some of you guys might have enjoyed it. So if you have any questions at all about the Sprocket or the Sprocket Plus, comment them down below. I'm going to experiment a bit more with it and yeah, if you have any questions I'll try and answer them. And if you did enjoy this video I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Most of the videos I make are kind of study related videos, kind of like revision and study stuff but um, I do chuck a couple of other different videos in there and this was one of them so I'd love it if you check out my channel and consider and consider subscribing um, but I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video bye